Roughly 10 years ago, when World of Tanks was first released, most tier 8 medium tanks had plenty of weak spots and they did not require you to exclusively load gold shells to be able to penetrate them frontally. This all changed when Wargaming introduced the Iron Army, a new tier 8 American premium tank into the game that you could gamble for by buying loot boxes. This tank is able to withstand even tier 10 gold shells and you will want to watch this whole video from start to finish since I will show you the two sickest rounds I've ever played in the history of my time in World of Tanks. Are you ready? Because I wasn't when I played this first round where things got pretty hectic and I was actually hyperventilating after a rather standard start in the Haldan position on Mannerheim line. So the enemies just kept pushing and I was racking up some pretty nice early game damage and when you are peeking with this tank the only real weak spots you have is the very bottom on the lower plate and your cupola but if you're constantly wiggling your tank and aren't presenting a huge profile you can easily hide it but just wait and see what's about to unfold here. In fact maybe pick the iron army there. Picking this guy is kinda risky since the enemy is who has a line of sight on me and can easily shoot. Okay, these guys have committed now, we have a chance to damage, I think. Oh, I think he f***ed up. Yeah, he f***ed Wow. Unlucky. It's only been a short while, but we already have 2.5k damage and a kill. But I promise you much more to come. Why is he shooting AP? I don't understand it. As you could see, already two people have tried yoloing through with no luck. I realized that the enemies are preoccupied with shooting someone else and I quickly go back into position to start shooting them. At this point, the other side is pretty much lost, so we have to make quick work of the enemy here. Unlucky for the T103, he's got a huge cupola, so I can actually get some nice pixel shots onto him. As I said, the other side was quick to go under and me and the PZ were left in a 2v9 scenario. I repeat, a 2 versus 9. But before I show you guys how this insane round ends, let me tell you about something. Since you guys like playing tanks, let's take it to the next level and let me show you this awesome PvP shooter where giant mechs blow up each other in huge arenas. Mech Arena is a super fun game available for you on PC and mobile right now. Let me show you my favorite mech. I finally unlocked Plasma Cannon 6 for it and oh my god, it is absolutely brutal. Look at that pure damage output. The enemies are just shrinking insanely fast. I even had a game where I got 11 kills. Of course, this high damage output must be balanced by the fact that I have a long reload and I'm quite squishy, so it kinda balances out the playing field for my opponent. Too. It also has a really cool shield mechanic so you can place it down whenever you are reloading to be safe from enemy fire. My favorite thing when it comes to Mac Arena is the fact that you can play an action packed game start to finish in 5 minutes wherever you are and whenever you want. And even if you aren't that good at reflex shooters, this game will suit you well since it doesn't require top notch reflexes but at the same time it also doesn't feel slow like most Mac games. And as I mentioned, since you guys like playing tanks, this game offers a very similar experience in terms of micro battle tactics where you can choose the best strategy to work your way through the smaller and tighter maps which have been all built for fast action, tactics and constant encounters. I genuinely enjoyed Mac Arena and I highly recommend you to try it as well. Install Mac Arena mobile and PC using my personal link or this QR code and get a free starter pack for $15 and amateur crate 300A coins and a pulse cannon 4 to help kickstart your game. And if you're quick, you can also add me to your friends as well and we can play some matches together on mobile or PC. Thank you Mac Arena for sponsoring the video. Oh!
Sieht sau. Chill, 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 chill. <sighs> Man, my heart rate went up so hard, dude. Come on, man. I gotta breathe. My heart rate went up so fucking high. Whew. I gotta breathe, man. 2K. 2.1K XP chat. 5K blocked. 11 kills, 7.2K. Of course, not every game went as splendidly as this one in the Iron Army. It was the 3090 spotting, but... Now let me show you guys just how much more damage this tier 8 medium tank can block and I truly believe this is absolutely toxic. We take the famous window position in Berlin and let the show begin. Let me let me let me hide my cupola dude. Let me let me let me do damage on that guy. As I have previously said, the biggest weak spot on this tank is its cupola, but with careful placement on the map, you can totally hide it. This time I'm using the beam of the ruin building in front of me to hide it and make this AMX's day quite unpleasant. Of course, it would help a lot if I could actually see his cupolas. But still, just look at the amount of damage this turret can withstand. This is, this is insane. What? That makes no sense, dude. That makes no sense. Finally, thank you. Bro? It just makes me sad, bro. Look at that little weak spot there. Achtung, Achtung. Achtung, Achtung, guys. He moves. Do we hit that? Oh, hell no, dude. Oh. Please. Oh, he's dead. Of course he is still there, boys. I'm gonna move, man. This guy's getting cornered. I'm gonna go, guys. Uh -huh. Before you get too excited about this tank, the gun is absolutely abysmal. It is one of the worst guns I've ever played with and the only good thing about it is the high pen heat shells. The bloom, accuracy and aiming time are all terrible so I used vents, v-stabs and rammer. The DPM is also pretty terrible being around 2.2k. Uh oh, scheisse. Hilfe, Skoda. What? Oh, I'm dead to the burrask now. And this round is absolutely nothing compared to the one coming up where I will show you just how helpless low tier tanks are when faced with the Iron Army's armor. First, we go to this Haldan position in Ruinburg and we can deny the enemy from taking aggressive positions from here. Since nobody pushed to the corner in front of us, it was time for me to move up and peek on the left side. Unfortunately, there's an SU-121 protecting the Super Pershing, so I have to be really, really careful when I shoot here. Dude, what? Oh, it's an SU-101, dude. They're gonna start flanking us, I think, soon. Fire? Oh, there's so many, dude. Holy sh**. Um. And now guys, sit back and enjoy, because this is going to be very, very entertaining. Oh wow, that sucks. That sucks a lot, dude.
which other tier 8 medium tank is capable of doing this? Next thumbnail for the next video. Alright, <laughs> uh, go, I push. Unfortunately, the SU moved up, but this next round will be even more interesting. By now, you guys are probably loving the fact that I get rushed every single round, so this next match won't be an exception. So fasten your seatbelts, we are playing Erlenberg, the only good position on the entire map for any kind of tank with a bit of turret armor is here, and let the clown fiesta commence, you know? Instead of learning, they just grab this whole thing, dude. You play a lot of warships? Is, is, the, is the player population stagnating, or...? We had to kill him because he was gonna go there. So far things are pretty calm, but just wait for it. The enemy Conarbon went for some very interesting flank. The reason I said GG was basically I'm in a crossfire and I have to push forward to try to get rid of the Patriot shooting me in the side. Can you like do something this... You can see once again just how sturdy this tank is, but unfortunately the 50 TP got us in our cupola. Now are you ready for an absolutely insane round? We are playing Lesher, but there are going to be a couple of twists. Some unlucky and some very lucky. This guy FK. In the recent patch they kind of killed the middle on Glacier, but this position still works pretty well. I didn't, I didn't pay attention, dude. I did not pay attention to that guy. Holy shit. That project is gonna be a f***ing problem, though. Guaranteed. And he will indeed be! He's gonna kill the other guys, though. Should be okay. Man, <laughs> why, man? Quick, you want. Quick, quick peek. Oh, hello? Hello there, bro. Hmm. Oh, one sec. Goated. Oh my god, man. You bro. Of course, I go... What, what are you guys? Oh, whatever, man. I'm dead. Doesn't matter. At this point, little did I know that things were starting to get very, very interesting shortly. <laughs> hey, he's staying there. What? Okay. I, I, I'll take that, dude. I'll take that, Black Prince. Every shot was hit, dude. Oh, poor Black Prince. F in the chair, guys. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Please don't rush him. Please don't rush him, dude. Go back. Go back, IS3. Too dangerous. Too dangerous, dude. Go back. Yes. Oh, Issue we got here, dude. It's full HP. Since the enemy pretty much controls the zero line, I have to get into safety. Cheery too, man, but if you can't see them, dude, you gotta fall back, bro. I am constantly checking the path up towards the aircraft carrier, but I also have to look towards our base in case the enemy pushes so I can help my allies fight them off. 
here. Not so good. Nice. Is this projector gonna try? It? Oh. Nice, dude. Projector dropped. Pound Ram 10 dude above us. Didn't spot me though, it's more than 50 meters. The problem is the Burask is flanking us, so. Should make a play, bro. Oh, it's too far up, dude. Oh man, really put his gun into that. But they both missed him, man. What? Fuck. That is really bad. That is really bad, dude. I have to constantly keep checking my shoulders because the Scorpion G can arrive at any moment and also the Yak Panther has been completely asmoned throughout the entirety of the battle, meaning he's full HP. Unfortunately, I have to move a bit forward and I cannot stay all the way in the back since the Scorpion G is probably pushing from our base. Oh, thank you for the hold on, dude. I bounce a really lucky shot from the Scorpion G that prompts me to push forward because I know he's completely in our base. For some reason he starts the cap and I actually put some HE shots into their blind but I don't really hit. As he stops the cap, I know he's coming for me, so I have to think of the safest position I could receive his push from. He's gonna push. I need to push his rack so I can see the left side as well at the same time. Like this. I don't think I'll win this chat, I'll be honest with you. Long minutes have passed and he was taking too long, so I got ready for the fact that he could be coming from either behind me or from on top of the aircraft carrier. I wait for him to push, but I cannot take too long because if he doesn't push, I'm just gonna run out of time and it's gonna be a draw. I gotta go, man. He's not gonna push. Holy shit! 
Last second clutch, last millisecond, bro. 7.6k damage. If you've enjoyed the video and would like me to do a New Year's special with the GigaChat Agent Crew where I'll be playing a tank I've always despised and hated, let's get this video to 4,000 likes. Also, thank you guys for reaching insane amounts of likes on the BZ video. The Shard 75 video is also on the way and I would like to wish you guys all Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I am incredibly grateful for all of you watching these videos and well, see you guys next time and thank you for watching. Oh,